Hello, there's a new version of the Daily Monster app out, and I thought uh, since it's been eight months since the original release, I'd film a new demo to show you all the new bits. Um, I'm showing it to you right now on an iPad 3, so it's all kinds of crisp, and if you have a chance to, sh to uh, check it out on the iPad 3, it's really worth it. It's pretty great on the 2, and it's pretty fun on the iPhone 2, but it's something else on the 3. Uh, one of the first new features is uh, Restore Backup. So if you ever need to quit out of the app, or if your iPad crashes, or your iPhone crashes for some reason, um, then there's a backup. It saves automatically about once a minute. So uh, you'll always have, uh, you may not get exactly where you ended up, but you're pretty close, so you're not going to lose a lot. But we're starting from scratch, so I'm going to tap no thanks. And then, as before, everything starts with the blob of ink. And you tap on it to blow the ink makes that satisfying noise. Yes, it does. Um, and the first thing you notice is that it has a little red dot, which means that the part is selected. So if you tap off of it, not selected, selected, not selected, selected, not selected, selected, selected. So at that point, you can scale by pinching, or you can rotate. Works best by putting your index finger on the glass and moving your middle finger to rotate. Goes both ways. Uh, so. That's our starting point. And then, of course, the soul of the app is the parts palette. So here you literally have hundreds of monster parts, starting with dozens of eyes, uh, all kinds of mouths, arms, pants, accessories, bodies, um, and then also black shapes, some beaks, and some observers. Let's immediately put some observers in. Why not? Just to give us some scale. Um, there you go. And they can look on as we're working. Uh, and another thing that this has that the original version didn't have is you have extra ink. So that's the very first thing on the very first page. By the way, you can go through it indexed. We can go to the eyes, the mouths, the arms, the legs, the accessories, and the bodies directly. But on the very first page, there's an extra ink blot. So you can tap on that, and it'll go on the drawing surface here. And you just tap on it, and there you go, you have more ink. So there are about 30 ink blots in the app, uh, but this way you can combine them and you can have pretty much unlimited, uh, unlimited ink blots uh, and ink blot shapes. So that's pretty cool, I think. Um, I'm going to move this around a little bit. There you go. Pretty nice. All right. Um, and also, right away, if you want to select everything on the drawing surface, you three finger swipe. And then you'll see that everything gets little dots. And then you can move it all together like that. And also, you'll see that when, it, when you first select something, um, you get these little arrows and the little rotational things. So that just tells you it's a little visual clue that you can uh, scale by pinching and you can rotate the parts. But right now, just put these guys down here, out of the way, and deselect. There you go. So let's give this guy some eyes so you can see what's going on. Um, there you go. There's number one. And then we'll put a second one in over here. Make it a little squinty, a little pirate monster action. And I want to move it to the back so that it's perspective-y. And that, uh, that's what these two do, the arrow up and the arrow down just moves whatever part you have selected up and down in the hierarchy. So this is where I'd like it. Now he needs a body. So we're going to go to the body section. And I want to have something that's a little businessy, and that's going to be this guy. But since he's facing this way and the body's facing that way, I'm going to use this button and flip the body and move it down. Okay, there you go. Right away. Pretty good, right? Let's give him some pants. Um, let's see. Let's use these kind of executive on-the-go legs and move them back. There you go. And maybe a little smaller because, you know, we don't want to be self-conscious about having eaten too much. Let's see. Are these good? Maybe the perspective doesn't quite work, so I'm going to actually delete these with the X button and give them Let's say these. Okay. And then I'll move them back again. There you go. Very nice. 
Okay. And let's give him some arms. Um, since he's sort of a businessy guy, let's give him a briefcase and move that here. There you go. And you can already see that there's a real variety of parts in there. And maybe, let's see, for the other arm, maybe he comes home after a day of work and he brings you some flowers because he's a class act, this monster. Move it back. There you go. All right. So I'm going to select all elements right now, move them down a little bit again, move our audience members up. There you go. And then I think the last thing he needs is a little shadow so that he's grounded on the floor. Flip that around, move it back here. Uh, and as you can see also, when something's selected, you can interact with it anywhere on the drawing surface so you don't have to actually have your finger right on it. So sometimes that's nice because you can see better what you're doing that way. I'm going to move it down again so that it's behind the shoes. There you go. All right. So there's our first monster, which is pretty great, right? I mean, that's fun. So the first thing now to do is save it, um, just to be safe. And the easiest thing is to save it to your photo album. So it's going to take just a second, and it's saved. All right. So next, you can also draw on your monster. That's the pen tab up here. Uh, and this uh, center button is for the settings. And you get this great little settings interface where you can pick your color um, by just tapping on that. I just want to have a black pen right now. Um, you can also slide between different, uh, different colors here. Um, you can adjust the transparency with this slider. And then you pinch to determine your pen size. And then you can really see uh, with this how the transparency shifts on that. Okay, but again, I want fully opaque, I want black, I want a little bigger, and I'll tap OK. And then you can just draw this way um, if you want additional um, ink or you just want to block something out that works. And it'll always go beneath the parts, so um, looks like he's got dreadlocks now. It's kind of nice. All right, so um, it'll never go on top of the parts. The next cool thing, oh, and if you want to erase something, of course, just tap on the eraser button and tap uh, that close again, and then you can go in and you can erase things like so. Okay. Uh, the next cool thing you can do is you can make the monster say something. That's the little speech bubble uh, button here. So let's tap that. And it starts in with uh, a little message, a little default message that says hello world. But I want to change it to hi, honey, comma, I'm. I think I have the keyboard set to German for some reason. There you go. I'm home. And then I like to put a space after the exclamation point because it spaces a little bit better in the speech bubble. Okay. In the speech bubble, too, you can set in the hierarchy so you can move it up and down. Uh, I'd like to have it in the foreground right now. And you can see that the type is a little bit small. Uh, so you can do two things. You can actually go into the corner and resize the bubble. And then you can, whoop, uh, be in the speech bubble and uh, pinch that apart so that it's nice and big. And then you tap off of it to select it, tap on it again to reselect it, and I'd like to crop it off a little bit. There you go. Whoop. Okay. It's not what I intended to do. I um, just want to move it over here so we don't lose that nice little thing. Um, and uh, you can also, if you tap and hold, re-edit your message, which can be kind of helpful. So cancel because Hi Honey, I'm Home is okay. I'm going to move it down a little bit. Again, to just show you that. There you go. Uh, so, now, um, you can do a number of things. Uh, again, you can save it to the photo album, which is this, which is the fastest way. And so at that point, you can always reclaim it from your photo album. Uh, you can email it, which is basically the same thing, but it pops it right away into an email window. 
um, you can save it to Facebook or not save it to Facebook, you can post it to Facebook um, you can tweet it and you can see that it's pretty fast and you can put a little comment in uh, and then there's a really cool thing uh, in this version now that you can uh, post it to a Daily Monster Monster Maker Tumblr uh, and if we do that, well, let's do it right now. Um, this is the demo video monster! Exclamation point. Send it to Tumblr. Alright, so that's saving to a special Monster Maker Tumblr. Gonna take a little second just because my internet connection is the slowest internet connection in the world, but there it goes. And so I'm gonna go out of the app for just a second. I'm gonna go over to Safari and I'm gonna refresh that page and check it out. There it is. Um, and the address for this is monstermaker.tumblr.com. It's monstermaker.tumblr.com. So anything you do in the app will show up on this page in a cool gilded frame. Uh, so you can share it with your friends. Uh, if you don't want to email it or if you just want me to see it, um, I'll check in and I'll comment. And I'll tell you that I love your monster, probably, because I probably will. Um, another cool thing in this version is there's a Zazzle button. So if you tap on that, again, it'll take a second because the upload on my connection is crappy slow. Um, so for you, this will be a little bit faster. But what's going to happen is this is going to take us to a Zazzle page for the Daily Monster. Da -da 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 -da. I'm going to give you a little elevator music while this is happening. This is not, this is not the app freezing. This is, my, this is my magical connection, doing magical things incredibly slowly. There you go. And you will see in just a second that the monster we just created right here is now on a doggy sweater. The ultimate cultural ambition of us all. You can get greeting cards made, so if you want to make custom invitations to parties, for example, this is a really cool thing to do. You can put your monster on a t-shirt. If you want to give it to somebody as a gift, you can get a little speaker made. Um, iPhone cases, mugs, uh, mouse pads, stickers, and more t-shirts, tote bags, and you can also customize all this stuff. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, and that's the Zazzle button. Um, now, another feature that's a little bit overhauled right now is that we can take a photo with the monster. Tap on the little camera button, and then it gives you a choice to either take a picture, choose a, a background picture from your photo library, or from your saved photo album, but let's take a picture. Um, and that's got a nice new interface where it used to be a strip at the bottom but now it's on the sides so that when you hold your heavy ass iPad you can use it like so and ideally not block the camera with your hands. So you can right away see how you can actually pose with it. Up, oh, well, sort of. You can see a little bit of my tripod. Tripod? Tripod? Tripod tripod for the iPad, not tripod, not tripad for the iPod. Um, and you can flip it around so that you can take a photo of your camera setup, for example, or you can wave, or I can stick my head in. Hello! Um, so let's take a picture of that, and you'll see that the monster is flipped so that everything is correct when it comes out. So I'm gonna go, hi, hello, and whoop, I'm gonna do it with this hand so I can do this. All right, fantastic. Well, what an attractive head I have. Um, you can select that photo and you can whoop, you can scale it, you can flip it around, um, and there you go. All right, I don't want to have these people on my nose, um, which means we're going to have to move it all down. Because one of the things I will say about the camera interface is that it will um, flatten the work you've done up to this point. So at that point everything becomes one big solid layer. 
which is actually a pretty cool workaround if you want to do a lot of monsters so that you don't overload the app and, you know, make it explode. Um, warning, app will not actually explode. Um, then you can do that, and that's actually, I've actually found that to be sort of a fun workaround. Um, and I'm kind of tired of this crappy photo I've taken of myself. So, I'm going to move this out of the way a little bit, select the photo, and delete it with the X button. Sele uh, select the monster, bring that back. And I'm going to pick a photo from the photo library to put in the back. All right. And you can actually see here all the monsters um, that we've saved in the process. I'm going to just pick this photo for the background because I like it. Um, and then this, again, you can save it. Uh, you can post it. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. And, you know, if you don't like what you've done, if you want to start again, just hit the red Start Over button. And it says, yes, do you want to clear all? And they say, yes, clear all. And then you start again. All right. Or start again. Or you start again. And if you really don't have time for all this stuff, and you just want to make a monster quick for somebody, for a little e-greeting or something, if you want to you know, post a little happy birthday message for somebody on Facebook or something like that, then you just go to the red Insta Monster tab, uh, and then you see the little pulsating red button. Press that button. Hey, watch the face. And then it will delete everything, but give you an Insta Monster. So it says adding an Insta Monster will delete everything else and you have to confirm yes, delete all, and add an Insta monster. If you tapped it by mistake, just tap off of it and it goes away. But, you know, we want an Insta monster, so press the button. Ah! And there you go. Immediately, hey. you get different monsters. Hey, watch the face. And. Hey, watch the face. Hey. 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 Uh and there's about hey, watch the face. 30 or 40 of them in here. I like this guy. That's why he is, you'll recognize him from this interface. Remember? Cancel. Okay. Uh, so, ah! that's just your time-saving option. And if you ever get stuck, uh, you can always press the blue help lozenge down here. And that will bring up the help interface. It explains everything uh, pretty concisely. And if you're a fan of legal copy, press the little I button down here, and then you can scroll through all the legal copy. Um, and there you go. That is the Monster app in its current incarnation. I hope you like it. I hope you'll download it and play with it. And uh, I hope to see your monsters on the Tumblr gallery, or on Facebook, or on Twitter. And I hope you have fun. Thank you so much.